everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Kimberly and today I am excited because I am going to be doing an unboxing and uh, somewhat of a review of the company my pet carnivore and um, I want to say a couple of things right now number one if you are squeamish about meat in any way um, this is probably not the video for you, and if you want to just skip it, do so. Number two, this company has not reached out to me. I purchased this with my own money. Uh, this company has no idea who I am. Uh, I am just a random person, uh, just another order, and um, so I fed my dogs a prey model raw diet for the last 11 years until the past year uh, I always sourced my meat locally um, but with everything going on last year 2020 the pandemic and all of that it got really really hard to do and I just could not provide a complete balanced diet for them uh, just on raw so what I did was I did half raw and half kibble so um, with that being said I've been trying to source more meat and I have never ordered from a online company before and the reason I decided to try now is because uh, well, okay, let's kind of back it up. So the reason that I've never ordered meat online before is because I live in an area where shipping is and always has been pretty iffy. So I've always been very leery about ordering foods, frozen things, um, because up here you can pay extra for like one or two day shipping, but it doesn't really matter because it's going to take at least four days to get to you in shipping basically no matter where it's coming from um, so you can pay the extra money for two-day or overnight shipping and it's still just going to take fucking forever to get to you so our mail has always been kind of iffy so for that reason I've always been very very cautious about ordering things like that and you know for good reason so I own toads and uh, I actually started for the first time cautiously ordering live insects for them and I've had really good luck so I decided you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it I'm going to drop some money into trying out a company um, for raw food and seeing how it works if it works awesome you know if not you know it, it sucks but you know that's just the nature of where I live so I decided to go to my pet carnivore uh, if you guys are interested check out the link in the description below I'll have the information there um and I was pretty happy I mean as far as their proteins their different protein selection um, I was happy that they told you the source of everything and um, yeah, like I, I, their website I was, I was really happy with. Ordering was easy. Uh, a really awesome thing was they kept me in the loop. They shipped out fast. I want to say it was 12 to 24 hours later that they actually shipped. And um, so that was really awesome. A um, lot of selection and uh, I got a lot of emails letting me know exactly where my package was, which is great because again I live in an area and <laughs> shipping can take a while to get here so I knew exactly where my package was um, that was awesome so I super appreciate that and uh, I got the box today and um, yeah like let, I, I haven't opened it um, I took the dogs out for a walk by the time we got back it was sitting on the porch and I was super excited so Let's get in and let's open it and see what we got and see how everything is, how everything held up. My biggest concern is that it's all going to be thawed and, and everything's going to be bad and I'm going to have to throw it away. So let's get into it. So 
So I have fed my dogs raw food for quite a while. And uh, last year with everything, uh, I kind of had to put them on kibble. So we did half kibble, half raw because raw meat was just really hard to source due to 2020. So All right, so there, it's cold. Let's see, I don't know if I can see. Oh, ice packs, all right. All right, all right, and yeah, we got some nice, it's cold in here. That's very good, because today is a pretty, a decently warm day, it's 50 degrees, so. Oh, everything is still frozen. All right, so I got some ground whole muskrat. Nice and frozen solid, which is awesome. That was the probably the biggest thing I was most worried about is uh, if things were going to still be frozen by the time they got here because to our area, two-day shipping means one week. We can pay extra for two-day shipping, one-day shipping, overnight shipping. Doesn't matter where it's coming from. It's going to be a week. So uh, that's just the nature of where I live, unfortunately, so I have to be very careful when I order things like this, but this is a very pleasant surprise. This is still real frozen. Uh, shipping in total for this whole box was $30, so that's really awesome. So this is muskrat. That's awesome. That was actually trapped in Michigan, uh, apparently. So ethically sourced. Ooh, that's cold. That's cold. All right. So I actually, I don't remember how much of everything I got, but here's another two pounder of muskrat. My dogs have never tried muskrat before, so I'm super stoked to try that. What is this? Oh, here's some mutton. So this is two pounds of mutton. Uh, it's got meat, bones, heart, liver, and tripe. So awesome. My dogs have never tried mutton before either. Ooh, it's cold on my hands. <laughs> All right. So what is here? Fine ground turkey necks. This is a pound of turkey. Turkey necks specifically. And uh, uh, my dogs tend to do better with more bone in compared to other dogs. Um, except for my oldest. Uh, he doesn't need as much bone. But the girls, they, they tend to do better with more bone. So that's why I got this. Because it's a very bony piece and uh, it's really hard for me to source necks around here. I can find them every once in a while but not nearly enough uh, to feed on a regular basis. Here's more another pound of the turkey necks. So awesome. Oh, gosh that is cold. All right honestly I don't even remember what all I got in here so let me see. So this, what is this? Oh, more mutton. Another two pounds of, of mutton. And what is this? More turkey necks. Yes, good. Yes, very good. Alright. More turkey neck. Another pound of turkey neck. My goodness, I got some goodies. More turkey necks. That is one, two, three, four, five pounds of turkey necks. All right, that is an ice pack. And then we got here is the big boys. Here is ground beef tripe. So this is uh, five pounds of green tripe, which I'm very excited to give the dogs because we've we've tr never tried uh, green tripe before so I hear it's really smelly but here is the five pounds of ground beef tripe and another five pounds of ground beef tripe and I gotta sit this down because holy cannoli is this cold on my hands it is froze absolutely solid. Make sure that's the last of it. 
so I am just absolutely pleasantly surprised. Everything was froze solid. The ice packs that they, or well not ice packs, but the cool packs that they had in there were still very cold. And shockingly, the outside of the box wasn't cold at all, which was what really made me go, uh-oh, everything's thawed. Uh, because it ended up taking like three or four days to actually arrive here. So I am just absolutely stoked. Uh, I can't wait to actually be able to dig in and feed some of this to the dogs. Um, I'm going to still keep kibble as a part of their diet for now um, until I feel much more like I have a much more constant reliable source of meat and I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes but uh yeah I for one would totally recommend this place like I said they did not contact me at all there's no affiliation here there's no links this is just me um missing feeding my dogs raw me wanting to put try more different proteins um so yeah definitely check them out. Uh, I have nothing but good things to say about them for now. Obviously I can't talk about the quality of the meat or the diet or how my dogs do on it because well I only just opened it. But if anybody is interested leave a comment below and I will keep you updated on that. Um, but yeah if you're interested in checking out the website mypetcarnivore.com uh, link is in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned, you know, maybe you found a new source. Maybe you want to try buying things. They also have treats and they have like a ton of things. So if you guys want to check them out, definitely check them out. I recommend them for now until I can actually try feeding my dogs these things. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So, 